Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am headed to a place called Detroit Coney Grill, as recommended from my brother, Gordon Heckman. And he said this place was known for their Coney dogs and their delicious burgers and maybe some interesting sides. So I, I figured I'd oblige and head on down. The place is located on Hayden and Indian Bend, right there in the heart of Scottsdale. So you boys gotta go check it out. I hope you enjoy this food review. Doing a food review. Doing a food review. All right, we did it. The line took a little while to get through and they were busy. It was right at lunchtime, so I totally understand. One of the coolest things that I thought was right when you walk in, over to the right-hand side, there's a full bar, which is really cool, with several different beers on draft, ready to go, and the entire menu is available to the people who are sitting at the bar as well. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I got, I got a burger, I got the green chili burger, and I got the Coney, the classic like Coney dog, and I got a side dish, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, the reason why I got the green chili burger is because we're in Arizona. Gotta get the green chili stuff, I know that, I, I know, I know. That's a uh, New Mexico thing, but we're close, man. We have chilies, we like chilies. We, we're in the desert. Let's take a look at that right now. <laughs> no napkin! Boo! But you know, your boy came prepared. I always come prepared. These places blow my mind. How you not gonna put napkins in there, you know? Dude, what do you think's ha what do you think we're doing? We're gonna eat it. We, we Don't we deserve napkins? No. Let's check out the burgie. Here it is. And you see that? That's a bun. So this particular burger has jack cheese, green chilies, onions, and three of those patties. Now what's special about their patties? I'll tell you right after I take this first bite. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Come on now. Come on now. Here we go. One of my favorite flavors of all time is green chilies. You know that flavor I'm talking about. Specifically the flavor, not the heat. So like a lot of hatch green chilies blow your balls right off. These just have that essence, that flavor that we all crave, you know? Okay, so what makes this place special? I did a bit of research. They grind their meat fresh every single day. I don't know what the cuts were or what the grind is. I don't know the meat to fat ratio or the lean to fat ratio rather, but I do know they grind it every single day. Then they scoop it up into two ounce balls and then that's how they do the prep. And that goes out to the line. Then the dude on the line grabs the balls and then he flattens them down. They call those smash burgers. So they smash them down so that the entire circumference of the meat is being griddled, meaning that it is getting the most surface area to create texture and caramelization. I've said that before, this place is just doing it a little bit better. You can tell that the quality is a little bit better. Places like Freddy's and Culver's, they do a great job for what they are, but this establishment is only one of three in the valley. They're gonna be able to do it a little bit nicer. I don't know what kind of bun this is. It's very light and chewy in texture. It has a brioche vibe but I don't think it's brioche. It might be like a potato roll, and I love both. I love both a lot. Mm, wow, wow. There's two camps, right? Two camps. One, high quality meat smashed flat on a griddle. Number two, high quality meat, thick cooked medium rare. Let's say, let's just go medium rare just to, you know, appease everybody. Both delicious, kind of like pizza. New York pizza, thin, crisp. Chicago pizza, thick, juicy. This. The, so burgers do the same thing. You have the thin crisp, which is the flattened burger, and then you have the thick juicy. Just like in pizza, I actually prefer the thin and crisp. Don't crucify me. It's just my personal preference. We all have one, relax. It's like music. Some people like Garth Brooks. Me, dog shit. <laughs> people are gonna hate me for saying that. Cause I got friends in large places. Get do something else. I like to kick my ball across the street tonight and then I'll see my cousin and she says hello. <laughs> that was Skyrockets in Flight. Afternoon delight. Yeah! Hey. 
Picking up, he's working up my appetite. Looking forward to a little afternoon delight. Skyrockets in flight. Afternoon delight. Whoop. You guys have it, I think. Huh. Afternoon delight. So two camps, I'm in the flat, crispy c category, I, I think. I think that's what I am. Cause you can, you can stack them up too. All that flavor, you stack it up. One juicy patty, you only get the caramelization on that one patty. <gasps> Love it. Okay, next, one of their signature items. This is a Detroit Coney style doggy. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is that classic. So it's that meat, chili, mustard, and onions, and then a high quality dog. This dog is 100% beef. It is made in Detroit at a place called Winter Sausage Company, I do believe. It is an all natural casing, a sheep casing. So I'm very interested to see this top shelf doggy treatment. And we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how, we'll see it. We'll see it and we'll feel it and we'll eat it and we'll consume it and then we'll poop it out later. <laughs> Here we go. Cheers, mate. Mmm. Mmm. You can just tell quality immediately. Now he could be totally lying about where he gets his doggies. They're 100% this or 100% that. There is an intuition that everybody has that the second you bite into something, you can tell instantly if it's high quality or not. This my man and my ma 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 ladies. This is high quality. Mm. All right, what's my side dish? Side dish, boom. This is their buffalo tots, which is obviously tossed in a hot sauce and then mixed with blue cheese. I love blue cheese. I love blue cheese. Let me lick in between some stinky feet, baby. I'm gonna get right in between those toes. Blah. Just kidding. No, I love it. I love a good stinky cheese. Can't help it. Mmm, okay. Mm. Okay, so here's the deal. Things like this, they go soggy. I ordered this, I've only had this for about 10 minutes. And when you coat it in sauce, it's highly liquidy, it's gonna get a little sogdified. I'm okay with that. I knew that going into it, I knew it wasn't gonna be the most crisp thing in the world after I've taken it away. If they would have made it, served it right to me right there, it would have been perfect, right? But I understand, I know, because I want to film in my car, that sometimes things are gonna be a little soggy. I accepted that, and I'm not dinging them for that. And I do, I do like this. Look at this tater top, by the way. Look at that. Can you see it? No, it won't focus, will it? Look at that tater top. That looks like they're either getting this from a reputable vendor or they're making these because their fries are hand cut all day. So they might be making this. Eh, I'm probably not, but this is a good, good quality tot. I'll just mention what I was drinking. What I am drinking was and still am. This is Sprite, Strawberry Fanta, and Lemonade. If you ain't ever had that combination, no! Time to give you the full scoop, my full review. This place was delicious. It's fresh, it's homemade. Anything they don't do in-house, they get it done somewhere where they do it in a homemade fashion. So I respect and appreciate a company that is deciding to go that route because it costs them more. So if it costs them more, what does it end up doing to the customer? Correct, they must pay more. The total of these four items, the burger, the dog, the fries, and the drink was 23 bucks. So the price was a little steep, but you're paying for what you get. Now, here's the thing. I've paid this amount for other food in the past, and it was much more substantial. I took like two bites off the burger, or three bites off the burger, and it's almost gone, basically. I was able to demolish that green chili burger. So that one was just kind of, I could just like, I honestly, I could have taken it and just gone and like instantly just crushed it, you know what I mean? And I probably could have eaten the whole burger in four bites if I really tried. Some of the other burgers that I've done in the past were a little bit more substantial. The hot dog, you can knock that out in three bites, no problem. The tots, that was pretty, I mean, that was a pretty large order. That, that's gonna take me a little bit to consume. I just thought there was gonna be a little bit more. So that's where it falls short for me. It didn't have napkins. And then let me show you this part right here. So I was trying to get some shots of the guy smashing the burgers, right? I mean, you gotta get those classic shots, okay? And if you look, there's a big glass viewing area, which I, I, I love that because they're not hiding anything. You can see exactly what they're doing. You don't have the guy like going, Ugh, and then mm, touching your stuff. I like that. But then there was a little like delivery window and then there was a big COVID sign like, do not come near this window. And I was trying to get a little shot through that window. And the lady was like, get out of here. Or what did she say? I can't remember. You'll, you'll see. I'll either show it right here 
which I probably won't. I'll just show you the clip right there and turn up the volume so you can hear what she said. She's like, move it, sir, or something like that. She was pumping. She, she was not having me at all. But it's like, I'm gonna do a review, lady. Be nice. Uh, you should always be nice. She could have just been like, excuse me, sir, do you see the sign, please? No, she was just like, move it. Did I exaggerate a little bit? Probably, but there was a tone. There was, sir, get away from the window. There was a tone, but she didn't tell me to move it. So, I know. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm sorry. All in all, great joint. I, I probably will go back by myself. I won't take my kids because I don't have $100 to spend. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Food Review on my channel, Real Richard, where we went to a delicious little spot called Detroit Coney Grill. You're too expensive. You don't give napkins and the lady yelled at me. Those are my only downfalls. Other than that, you guys are doing an excellent job outsourcing where you need to, and a, a delicious sausage, delicious meat. You do a good job. Um, lower your prices. Decent.